what we're doing today is planting cauliflowers in containers that contain a garden. But we need to make sure we get the right size container. I'm going to be using this one, but even at this size, you could probably at most only put two cauliflowers in there because of the way that the leaves spread. But I'm going to plant three in and see if we can get little cauliflower heads to harvest rather than really big ones. And we'll also interplant some other bits and bobs as well while we're waiting. First, we'll get some compost in this. We've put some of the sieved compost in here, but not the good stuff, the waste stuff. I call it waste, it's the lumpy stuff, but it can go at the bottom because cauliflowers have shallow roots, so that's not going to hurt, but it will save us at some of our good compost. Cauliflowers like to be planted in a firm bed, so we're just going to compress it down a little bit. And because the shallow rooted, we don't really need to fill this container to the top. So we're going to leave two or three inch. I've also drilled lots and lots of holes in the bottom of this container because having good drainage is really important. And they're the ones that we're putting in. This variety is called Snowball and it's a self blanching variety, which means you don't have to cover it up with the leaves to stop it from discoloring. It will just stay pure white by itself. And these take 68 days from seed to harvest. But because we're putting them in containers, we won't be able to get them to the full sized head. So we're hoping for getting baby cauliflowers out of these, which will be perfect for a container garden. And as you can see, they've already got true leaves on them, but they will start to get tall if you don't get them out of these containers and get them planted on. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So what we'll do, we'll put three in and we'll put them in the centre because then we can grow other things on the outside so we're not wasting all that space. And the key to planting any brassica, cabbage, cauliflowers, is to plant them really deep. So when you take this out, you can see getting quite long that's its first set of leaves and we can bury it right up to there so this plants more stable so you can see I'm actually burying the first set of leaves but they've done their job now so that won't matter we just want this plant to have a nice firm stable base and for it to stand up and they will look the same with the next one. Nice deep hole. And again, we'll pick the biggest ones that are in this pack. And we'll pop it in there, right down to there. And firm it in. And then the same with the last one. In, right down, firm it in. Now, as I said, this is a really big container, so although these are going to fill out to about this size over the next 60 to 70 days, it would be nice to have something that reaches maturity a little bit quicker so we can get a double harvest from this one space. So, I've got a few of these pea plants. They're growing quite tall now, so it's a good idea to get them out and get them in. So we'll put them in the alternate spacing like this. And again, we'll bury these deep as well. And they can just hang over edge for the moment. I think we'll have four in this container.
cauliflowers can be quite heavy feeders as well so we want to make sure there's lots of nutrition in this compost right from the start so I'm going to add a little bit of fish blood and bone and then we'll give this a bit of water Because these peas are obviously going to be growing up, we need to provide them with a little bit of a support. So we'll just pop some canes in and then we can tie them to this cane as it grows. I got hold of a few of these from Poundland. They're perfect for tying up your plants. They come on a reel and all you need to do is pop it into its own cutter. How easy is that? You get two for a pound from Poundland if you want to get yourself some. Then all we need to do is just twist it once it's around this plant, but not twisting it so it's tight or she might pinch the top off. This is just to keep the pea plant off the compost. And of course, we're going to be training them to grow up this. So there you go. That's all set up now, ready for container garden. We've got three cauliflowers, self-blanching varieties, that we're trying to grow into a small head for a quicker harvest. And meanwhile, we've got us peas growing up these canes. So now all we need to do is move it outside. Then we've got another addition to our container garden. Don't worry about these pea plants. Uh, getting too long because I know they can grow to six feet but these sticks are about three feet tall so once it gets to the top we'll just tie it off and let it grow back down so we'll still be able to harvest a lot of peas from each of these canes so let's go and put it outside so there you go we've got that all set up now we've also added a few of the bits and bobs of it last couple of days including the lettuce basket we've got hanging on this strawberry ladder. We've brought out our hanging baskets. The pansies are now starting to get flowers on. And the potato plants on this area as well now, along with the golden raspberry. And the pea planter that we made recently. got a couple of viola baskets as well that have come on really well and we're just waiting just a little longer before we pot on these raspberry and gooseberry plants French beans are doing perfectly fine as well and so is the salad bowl And we have actually now got flowers on the strawberry plants. So as you just saw, things are now starting to come together in the little container garden area that we only started a month or so ago and there's going to be more things that we will be adding as we progress through the months so if you do want to see that progress and what else we do then just hit that subscribe button and press the notifications bell and i'll see you all next time have a nice easter you all take care